Everyone loves a superhero, right? This is a story about my Uncle Bruce and his superpowers. Bruce has a rare ability. Not many people have it. The power to sprinkle joy wherever he goes. In our family, Bruce is the CJO, otherwise known as the Chief Joy Officer. He's always had this wonderful, a sort of, I want to check what everyone's doing, I want to be with people. He is infectious and he's got a wonderful laugh. <laughs> he's a gorgeous boy. <laughs> His sense of humour is unmatched. I don't think I could ever raise the bar that high. Bruce finds joy in lots of things, but especially trains, boats, helicopters, really anything that moves. As well as his family, friends, kids playing, and most of all, Abba. One fact about Bruce is that he has Pitts Rogers Dank syndrome, which is a very rare condition. When Bruce was a kid, not much was understood about this. The way people saw disability was different back then. We always knew there was a problem. Because he wasn't a trouble to anyone, they just thought he wasn't learning as well as he might, I think. And it wasn't until he was in his 30s that we got the actual diagnosis. You know, a dozen people in Australia have that. It's quite rare. That's our darling boy. But that didn't stop Bruce's superpowers from developing. While others underestimated him, Bruce was out there doing what he does best, being the people's champion. When you refuse to let someone put you in a box, you discover amazing abilities that defy expectations. Bruce's career as a professional joy spreader started when he was a young boy. So make sure there's no shell going in there. Awesome. Yeah. Well Yay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce's other family is his housemates. Their house is managed by Focus, a brilliant organisation that provides individualised support services for people with disabilities. You heard the Snoop Dogg? I heard the Snoop Dogg? By night, Bruce is a tidy one, the peace seeker and a joyful calming presence. By day, he works at the op shop, bringing a smile to everyone's face. Oh. This, this is my mum and dad, Wendy. This is your mum and dad? And, He's still learning in his 50s. There's been a lot of skills that he's learnt that he didn't previously have. Oh, cute! Oh, they're nice, aren't they? That's Mary. <laughs> it's pretty amazing to see him continuing to grow and continuing to try new things. My uncle even inspired the establishment of the Bruce Lefroy Centre at the Murdoch Children's Research Institute. Come on, it doesn't get much more Bruce Wayne than that, does it? What a superhero. Uncle Bruce has come today to meet the directors and Erica, who has been helped by the research done at the Bruce Lefroy Centre. We do research that aims to find problems in the clinic and solve them and make a difference for people. So we find potential treatments and test them in people with genetic conditions. I worked in the lab. I didn't have any patient contact at all. Now I've been able to interact with people like Bruce and it's really opened my eyes to what drives families with people with genetic conditions. I can tell what you mean about Chief Joy Officer. I'm sure you are the superhero of your family. I was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia when I was around 15. There's a very, only a couple of hundred of other people in Australia which are going through the same thing can feel a little bit isolating. So with the research and everything, the fact there's such a big team behind it again, it's been um, validating, I guess, that, um, you know, I'm not by myself. It took 35 years for Bruce to receive his diagnosis. Young people today are diagnosed within a few days and have better access to care for themselves and their families. He inspires those close to him to find the joy in the everyday. Because of my uncle, I will never doubt my own abilities and neither should you. Move over Bruce Wayne, this is Bruce Lefroy, my uncle and our hero.